So we're going back into SketchUp. All right, so when we last left off, this is pretty much what our project looked like. Um, I'm going to start showing you the next step now. So the first thing you want to do is use your push-pull tool. And we're gonna, I'm going to start this example with the chest here. I'm going to pull out the chest a little bit, and you don't have to measure it, um, but you want to eyeball it. Now that you have your person there, you have an idea, and you know that this is 6 inches, you have an idea of how thick that is. It's probably like 8 inches or 10 inches. All right, you can guesstimate what size it is based on that knowledge. So this is probably not 30 feet is basically what I'm saying. Um, so that being the case, you know, you don't have to measure it, but you should have an idea of what it is based on looking at it. So like for, I'm going to measure this just to show you that it's about 10 inches. So that's not crazy. That's pretty much what I was looking for. Um, but you don't need exact numbers. All right, so I'm going to push it in a little bit, maybe a little bit less than that. And then the next step is to use my selection tool. All right, so um, we're going to take our selection tool and we're going to select this surface that we're going to use. Um, alternatively, if I wanted to, I could select my perimeter, but I'd have to do the whole thing, so this is easier. Um, then I'm just going to go to Tools and Scale, and I'm just going to like shrink it and change it just a little bit. Okay, I don't. I'm probably from each corner um, is probably the best way to do it. Um, then when I'm done, I'm going to click off of it. So I'm using my selection tool again, clicking my selection tool and clicking the ground, um, just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. Uh, we're bending it. So I'm going to show you, I'm sure you'll see it better in the next part. So let me just do this a little bit. I'm going to grab my push-pull tool again and push it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to bend it again. I'm going to select the surface that I want to deal with, go to Tools and Scale, and push it in just a little bit more in each direction. Whoops, that's way too much. There you go. I'm going to select off it, deselect by clicking the ground, and push pull it a little bit more, and I'm going to do it again. So select the surface that I want uh, with my selection tool. Go to Tools, Scale, and you can see that I'm basically like making it 3D. I'm not just doing it from one corner, by the way. I do it from all four corners uh, because that way when you um, – let me select off it so I can show you. When I click the ground here and I orbit, you can see that it's making this really cool uh, three-dimensional robot shape because we don't want our robots to be all boxy, but we do want them to, to look like robots. So that's basically how we're going to start this part of the project. We're going to bring all of our parts into 3D. I was noticing that when I push-pull here because um, I wanted to show a different part, some of my things uh, didn't become two-dimensional. Uh, so what I'm going to do, or three-dimensional rather. So what I need to do is figure out the problem. And when I zoom in, I saw the problem right away. So all your shapes need to be closed. So make sure that you're closing them. I'm going to do maybe like this and then press escape. And then I'm going to go over here and erase that so that that is now a sealed shape. Um, and you want to do that. Obviously, I'm going to do it for my boot too because there must be somewhere I'm going to have to search through it. There must be somewhere that it disconnects. So now you know. Here you can see I made some extra parts and we're still attached to the wall. Um, you should make all the parts that you know that you need. You might need to make a new wall and some new parts later. Um, but right now you should have the side view of all of their parts. So like basically if I have two arms I only need one side view of the arm because I'm just going to, after I complete the both sides of the arm I'm going to duplicate it. But I should have one side view of everything that you're going to need. Um, then you're going to use your push-pull tool and push the wall so it disappears. All right, once that happens, you can turn around and it looks like everything's broken or almost everything is broken, which is not a bad thing at this point. It's normal. Um, so now we're going to go to our selection tool and select one object. I'm going to triple click it to make sure it's completely selected. I'm going to zoom in and show you what it looks like when it's selected. Um, I'm going to use my duplicate technique, which is the move tool plus the alt button to duplicate one of the, one of the objects that I made. So this is one piece. And uh, now you can see that I have a duplicate of it. And you want to keep it close by. By the way, don't drag it off into the you know horizon over there. Just uh, keep it close by. And then you're going to make sure it's still selected. So if it's not, triple click it. And you're going to control click it. And then you're going to flip along the red direction. OK. Um, your red direction has to do with your, ax your axes here. So it might not be the red direction for you, depending on which way you made your um, your initial uh, slab or you know that that initial um, rectangle so if it's not you might have to control Z that or command Z that rather 
and flip it along the green axis, etc., until you get the right one. And it'll be the right one throughout. So once you find out what it is, get it. So now I'm using the move tool. And by the way, using the move tool and the rotation tool, which we're going to learn later, are probably the hardest tools to use in SketchUp. So you want to make sure that you do things carefully and accurately. So I'm actually grabbing it by one of the points that are going to meet um, the same point on my image. Now, if I, if I think that this is too wide, I can like you know, let it overlap, that's not a problem. Uh, I actually like it wide, so I'm going to keep it wide. So I clicked once when it was exactly where I wanted, and now I'm going to go back to my selection tool and click the ground to basically deselect whatever shape that is. All right, so now I have one piece done. There's no need for you to watch me do all of these, but that's basically what I have to do. And when I do the arms, which I'm actually going to do one now to show you this one, um, I'm going to triple click it. I'm going to go to um, my move tool. Hold down the Alt button and duplicate it. Going to put it out in here. Um, then I'm going to go back to my selection tool and control click it to flip along the red axis. And then I'm going to move it carefully by zooming in a little bit and moving it right here. And that's my arm. Now once I have the arm done, I'm going to triple click the whole thing. So I want I, I made sure they got all of it. I'm going to um, what's the word? I'm going to orbit around so I can see the whole thing. And then once you see that that arm is done, since I need two of them, I'm going to move and duplicate it right now. All right, so because obviously it needs two complete arms, not one complete arm, okay? So on any shapes that I know I need two complete of, or maybe more, maybe your robot has four arms or whatever. Uh, maybe it obviously is going to hopefully have more than like more than one leg most likely. So I'm going to have to do that as well. All right. So um, that's it on that. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of these and then I'll let you see what I have.